everyone, this is Mr. Strauss from the School Counseling Department. As we head into the final weeks of the school semester, we know that this can be a very difficult time. Thinking about final exams, preparing for the holidays, and now to have to do all of this uh, learning remotely can be quite stressful. Thus, we in the Counseling Department want to remind you that it's important to take a little time for yourself to practice some self-care. So we put together some tips for you to practice, some ideas that you can use to help you practice that self-care. Hang out with your animal and watch something funny on TV. You can put on your favorite tune and jam out. Getting enough sleep is important. Just ask my cat, Jerry. Taking some time out to pray. Another way you can de-stress is to bake or cook with your family. You can dance if you want to. Hey, Danny. Eat an apple, it's a better and healthier choice. Sit and enjoy the warmth and crackle of a nice backyard fire. Marshmallows are not included. Sit down and relax with your favorite book. Go outside and get some exercise. Walk in the woods or go for a run. You could look for your tin whistle you got at SCP a long time ago and practice the alma mater. You could write a letter to a friend or a relative just to catch up. And don't forget, you'll need one of these for the send button. Take some time and meditate. Welcome to the Daily Call. Today we'll explore the process of reinvention. So there you go. Whether it's music or meditation, getting the heart rate up or slowing your heart rate down, our counselors have shared some of their favorite ways to practice self-care. Self-care is an important practice to reduce stress and increase a sense of well-being. We hope you are able to take a little time each day to unplug from your phone, put your computers away, and challenge yourself to try something new. Take good care of yourselves and make each day a great day. Mm -hmm.